mad with me. Uh, tech technology has taken all the jobs away from the people. When I come here first, there was over 3,000 people working here. I think there's uh, just over 1,000 now, probably under 1,000 now. Uh, so technology has taken away a lot of jobs. Things have changed dramatically. So I work on number three, down the bakery, put in the sugar, in through onto the biscuits, flour on the oven band and check in the webs. And I check number four, which is the other machine, on the switches. That's about all. It's quite easier, much easier now than it was in the old days, yes, because in the old days everything had to be done by hand. Today you have machinery to do everything and uh, it makes it quite easy. Well, we've got to make sure the machine is running properly and uh, keep the weight and gauge right because um, these biscuits got to be on um, packet weight, you see. So they've got to be on them the right um, weight when they get back up in the packing section. It goes straight through the cutting machine. It comes down from the cutting machine, either a rotary cutter or uh, a reciprocating cutter, then down the uh, panning web. Now, the, the picking uh, comprises of uh, setting up your machine in the morning, seeing that you have the right cuts, the right speed in the oven, and you have your right weight going in. You have a certain a weight going in, and you have a certain weight going out, coming out of the oven. We used to mix the Christmas puddings on the barley pan, which was more like a jam boiler, whereas now we've got a fairly automatic mixing plant. The, the most significant thing in the Southside factory is that all of the girls are piecework. They work on a piecework basis, whereas the rest of the factory... They're ordinary, they're not a piecework on the biscuits, whereas puddings has always been a piecework job. And piecework is much better because it gives you something to you want to work, you know. Uh, we have lots of piecework, which has made a great deal of difference because uh, there's more money at the end of it. It would be fair to say that we were relatively low in the pay scales. Things have improved in that, in that respect and therefore we are paying salary rates that are better. The ovens we use today throughout the plant are modern ovens and they are 48 inches wide and approximately 200 feet long. Well, obviously, the ovens have changed a lot today. used to be. Uh, we had the original ovens over in Southside, uh, and they were just a short oven, 60, 70 foot long, whereas now the ovens... The way that in the old film where they're carrying trays across, it seems a bit weird that they didn't um, put a conveyor in between. Life in the factory in those days, it was more manual work, not so much mechanisation, and, you know, things people worked harder. Uh, don't let people say the good old times. They were good old times, but they were hard work. This, what we describe as auto plants, was something that was developed at Peak Freens, and it is something we're particularly proud of. Obviously, technology has improved, and possibly it's a lot safer these days. But I think there might have been a camaraderie there, greater than today. It was in those days, it was father following the son, uh, but those things have altered now, you know. But I think in the olden days there was more of a family atmosphere to what you have now. Today, as the factory begins to close down and we move to new premises, the biscuits will come out of the ovens, direct into creamers and then direct into packing machines. This means that today we use 55 girls to make bourbon. Whereas the new plant, which will give the same output, will use 12 girls. And that is the step forward that has been made in technology. Well, the only difference is I think I noticed was when, when they used to do the cream of the biscuits, you used to have to do it by hand, by hoppers. But it's automatic. They just can not by automatic machines. Now the target on Baldwin is supposed to be 13.2 tonne a day. But most days we exceed that by at least 2 tonne. On a very good day we can produce 17 tonne of biscuits. Oh, the biscuits, I can't help 
saying it there rubbish today. What they used to be. I think the autos has done a lot of it. They can only work with round, square, and machines. They can't take fancy shapes. They can't back up. We now put a cocoa powder in rather than chocolate. But other than that, the biscuit is very much the same as in its early days of introduction. We used to do all the wrapping by hand. Yes, the biscuits were all packed in the tray by the gents and left in these racks and then we used to say, go and do shortcake. And you just take your tray and then put your papers already and then you time yourself. And that's it. The lady would check you out. It was all done by hand. It's nine pound tin. Square. Nine pound tin. We all, all stood along a, a, a sort of a bench mm. and uh, the man at the end used to put a tray on and then we used to pull the tray down and then we used to sort, you know, get on with the biscuits. We, we had to be very quick, I'll tell you. But, but um, oh, it wasn't a bad job. You got used to peace, what you got used to fashion and say and it was up to you if you wanted to earn money and I did I needed it very badly but then they brought in the automatic machines which are much better because you get old but it's so I don't know it's so slow now what it used to be in them days you know, it's, it's wonderful, really, because, you know, you, I mean, I know you get lots of problems with machines because they're always breaking down. I know you've got computer and then you've got press buttons, so everything is up to standard. So I think we have come a long way, really. There are jobs here still. Treadmill in those days than they are now, uh, which is quite right. right. Progress should be like that. The machine that we've got now, it's a computerised machine. Ever such an interesting machine, you know, quite like it. We have to make sure that every packet goes out of the factory good condition, that also the codes are all on, and the weight is correct. I don't think my job existed in all probability in, in those days. Um, they didn't have packaging in the way that we know it now. I think most of the biscuits went in into uh, into tins, into what we call nine-pound tins, and uh, that was virtually the, the only packaging that was used. I loved it. I wouldn't have stayed otherwise. I loved it. We had a lot of discipline, of course. In those days, you never said boo goose really he was a traitor because we had the manager and she, she was ever so um, uh, oh, terrible she was <laughs> she was you were frightened if she spoke to you you know she, she was really frightened well you were in 
now is that phase, don't you think? So you were you were fighting in case you were gonna get the sack or anything like that. So you had to behave yourself. Do you know no. who the, the governors were because they were always on site. These days, the majority of our governors are at Reading, and their governors then are in, in the USA. Of course, most of the stuff now is packed into carbon cartons, as we use the uh, half a pound and pound pack biscuits now. Today, we have some of the finest packing machines in the world, which are made in Japan. I mean, when I came here, it was peak friends. And then we went in with Huntley and Palmer and Jake. to associated biscuits and then after that the biscuits came in and I mean everyone said oh well once you have to take over I mean up and round there to shut were taken over and they closed them down a little while after. So no, I don't think any of us were surprised. I mean, when the business took over, they were the ones that were starting to make the place automated. So obviously, if it had carried on, we'd have seen big changes in the factory for the better eventually then we all know what happened from them <laughs> it's shutting us down the unfortunate thing about the biscuit industry it does seem to have spare capacity the problem has been that the biscuit market has remained static or slightly declining for the last 20 years. The company has too much manufacturing capacity and therefore one of the sites had to go. 